Holix Network 18, Mission Poshan, Bhavishya Roshan. Amitabh Chaudhary, the MD and CEO of HDFC Line Life, joins us to give us a sense of the ground realities. Um, you know, good morning, Mr. Chaudhary, and thanks so much for speaking with CNBC TV 18. One of the risks highlighted by Jeffries is a regulatory risk, especially on credit life. If you could explain what exactly is credit life, how much does it contribute to your company's profits, and is there a regulatory risk on them clamping down on the kind of profits that you make on credit life? So, well, Credit Life is a relatively simple product. Uh, whenever any bank or any NBFC is giving a loan to any customer of theirs, uh, invariably they'd like to cover the credit risk through a life insurance or a health insurance policy. And uh, that is a very large business across the world, and in India it also has been growing. I think SGFC Life was the first one to kind of spot the opportunity and go and scan the market and tie up with uh, most of the large players in the banking, NBFC, the MFI, and the small payment bank space. Obviously, a lot of the other companies are trying to now uh, copy what we have done. Uh, as far as that particular report is concerned, I think the risk, regulatory risk, is overrated. I do not agree with the comment on the report that the pricing on term products is much lower than that of the group products. Please, we have to understand the difference between the two. In case of an individual term product, we actually underwrite the life, the individual life, we make them go through a medical while in a group policy. Invariably, it is done on a group basis. It is done for the cohort. Medicals are never called for. You never even come to know who the particular borrower is. So the risk is different. The risk profile is different. The way it is issued is different. And for the ease of issuance and what we are doing there, I think the pricing in some cases might be slightly higher, but it accounts for the fact that the cohort is different and the underwriting is done differently. So I do believe that the regulator is uh, obviously watching closely the prices for every product because every any product out there in the market, uh, the pricing is looked at by the regulator. So I would say, at least from our perspective, the risk as pointed out by Jeffries is not as high as they believe. Okay, they also mentioned that the value of new business could new businesses could come down by about 12% for you know a company like yours, 13% for some of your peers, etc. You think all of that is unwarranted? This worry? Uh, well, you know, I wish, uh, you know, the research analysts obviously have an audience out there and they do a lot of work before they publish such a big report. I wish they should just consult us a little bit more because some of the interpretations made in the report I don't agree with. I don't know what the reaction of some of the other industry players is. Uh, and we are obviously reaching out to them, trying to explain that some of the interpretation are pointing in the wrong direction. No, the impact on us into the kind of quantity or the quantum they have pointed out is incorrect. Uh, they have talked about if the operating expenses were to go up by a certain number, our margins can come down by that much. They have tried to speculate as to what the portion of our margins is coming from this group business. We don't disclose those numbers. We are not going to disclose the numbers on this uh, you know, particular session also. But the point is that I think the risks which they have pointed out, I would just kind of state this, the risks they have pointed out are more than what we believe exist. The margin impact they have pointed out is more uh, than what I think the real impact would be. So yes, I, while I agree with the secular growth story in the insurance space, I necessarily do not agree with some of the numbers they have printed. Okay, uh, so that apart, uh, but do you think there is scope to improve your uh, margins of the uh, new business currently at close to about 23%? It's gone up in the last few years by close to about 400, 500 basis points. But from here on, uh, if these risks are overstated, if the margin pressure is overstated and exaggerated, can the margins go up? Well, you know, it's very important to always balance the amount of investment you want to make in the business and the margins you want to deliver. We have always talked about a consistent, upward, smooth curve. So we do believe there is scope for uh, you know, margin expansion, but at the same time, we are very cognizant of the fact that we need to take some amount of money every year and invest for the future. So we are trying to balance both the kind of uh, sides at the same time. So yes, we, you know, the margin expansion can continue at a slow pace. But there is a point beyond which it does not make sense to just keep delivering higher margins because then you will be impacting the, your future growth because you will stop investing for the future. Okay, one final question then before we let you go. This protection policy business, uh, which is I think about 25% or so, what, overall what kind of growth do you see for the industry and for yourself? Because you have been making a lot of investments here.
I, well, I expect this area to grow uh, significantly over the next uh, few years. I think India is underinsured. That fact has been stated and stated repeatedly by every research analyst and every industry player. And obviously, every company in the industry is putting a lot of dollars behind increasing their protection share. So I think not only the overall pie in terms of protection will grow because India is underinsured. A lot of people, a lot of industry players are putting money behind it. So that will also help. And yes. As India's GDP growth increases, as people become more aware of protection, as people buy more protection, I think we will also, as HGFC Life, uh, get uh, you know our share of the business. We are the largest player in the protection space. Uh, we have been kind of bellwethers as far as the market is concerned in terms of investing in this space and being the first to bring out some new products. And we intend to continue to do that as we move forward in the future. So yes, looking forward to uh, healthy growth in this area. Uh, much higher than the industry growth rate. Very difficult to predict what the number would be, but my guess estimate would be that the production business would do at least a double the industry growth rate as we uh, in, the, in the future.